for Trojan TV. I'm Elena. And I'm Matt. What's up with the glasses? Nothing. I'm just getting ready for all the sunshine coming for spring break. Oh, yeah. Spring break starts next week. Yeah, it starts a week from today, next Thursday after a half day of school. But I suppose I should take them off and get into this week's news. Congratulations to our EMS students selected to move on to the state-level competition for their National History Day projects. NHD documentary winners Tegan Worthington, Matt Ritter, and Sarah Fox. Research paper winners, Evelyn Peterson and Luke Linder. Exhibit winners, Andrew Theophilus and Ethan Slocum. Group exhibit winners, Mac Chung, Payson Frazier, and George Goldcool. Group performance winners, Amelia Shotwell and Olivia Seymour. And website winner, Sierra Baksha. The students will compete at Bay City High School on April 29th. Also, four Miss Unger sixth grade students won the Haiku Harvest Challenge Poetry Contest. The second place winner was Brianna Brown, third place winner was Camille Rucker, Macy Wilcox for Most Colorful, and Case Brooks for Local Pride. Tuesday was Pie Day, and the Grand Traverse Pie Company was holding a video contest for classrooms to recite pie. A few DMC students decided to enter. Here are the videos. Pie, the number that has no end. Happy Pi Day! Man, I want pie. You gotta earn it. How? Three point one four one five nine two six five three five eight nine seven nine three two three eight four six two six four three three eight three two seven nine five zero two eight eight four one nine seven one six nine three nine nine three seven five one zero five eight two zero nine seven four nine four four five nine two three zero seven eight one six four nine nine eight six two eight zero three four eight two five three four two one. Man, now I want pie. Three point one four one five nine two. Middle School Co-Ed Track and Field is open to boys and girls in grades 6 through 8 and will run April 3rd through the end of May. Registration and the $125 fee is due before April 3rd or $150 after the deadline. Get registered on the LEAP website. Practices begin the week of April 3rd. ESA started to use the Early Warning Indicator System to better communicate with parents about student issues. Here are Chloe and Aaron with more on the story. East Middle School has adopted a new system called the Early Warning Indicator to inform parents on how their kids are doing in school. The Early Warning Indicator system is something that's brand new to the district. As a rapid turnaround school, uh, we are working with the state of Michigan to monitor student progress. And the Early Warning Indicator really looks at a student's attendance, their behavior, and grades. Two years ago, East Middle School was um, recognized as a focus school where we had a learning gap between our highest achieving students and our lowest achieving students. And what we found was um, with our students that were struggling in school, there was definitely a pattern with poor attendance, poor behavior, 
and of course failing grades. Teachers and students like this system and think it will help. I think it's a great thing for parents to know um, how their students are doing on a daily basis. Um, sometimes students aren't always honest with their parents, so this is a great way to let them know. I think it could help a lot of people that already get bad grades or are truant for school. The automatic call from the new system allows administrators and teachers to focus more on helping students. It helps us as a teacher so we can communicate with the parents better. Um, it's hard to call every parent every night, and so this gives us a chance for the parents and the teacher to communicate together. The outcome should be that our students are not failing. This has been Chloe and Aaron reporting for Trojan TV. Thanks, guys. Last night was the evening talent show, and tomorrow we will get an opportunity to see the acts during 6th hour and resource, starting at 1.30 in the big gym. The Crooked Tree Arts Center annual, annual youth art show is underway and continues through March 25th. East Middle School art will be on display for the event at the Old Library on 6th Street. Locker cleanouts will take place next week for the Omega and Middle Houses on Wednesday before break. Girls basketball team ended their season recently, and the black team placed third overall in their tournament. Here's Emma and Kai with a look at the season. Girls basketball players came together and enjoyed the season. I think the season has been very su successful. We haven't had a winning season, but I think the girls have begun to gel and work very well together. So I, as a coach, that's where I would measure the success. We've only won a couple games, but that, I think we're definitely improving from when we started. This year, Players have been working on improving the fundamentals. Um, our team's struggle areas, I think, are mainly shooting and, yeah, I think it's more shooting and passing. Our... But I think that coaching the black tier actually has been a very valuable experience because I think the girls are very ready to play basketball and learn more and move to the next level. Coach Boer feels that camaraderie is a key part to basketball. I think our team has really begun to gel together. Um, these girls, most of them haven't had the opportunity to play together, so they've really been taking this opportunity and working and playing together. So I think that's probably where we've improved the most. This has been Emma and Kai reporting for Trojan TV. Well, that concludes this episode of Trojan TV. You can follow Trojan TV and the DMC on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook by searching at EastDMC. And don't forget to check out additional DMC and newspaper coverage on our website, The Link. We are leaving you with a short film created by DMC student Hunter Haas. Bye! Bye. Good morning, Cam. So what is this now? This is the third day of this in-school suspension, isn't it? Stop! Hey, you watch. So Cam, what do you have to say? It wasn't me. Oh, sorry. Say that again? I said it wasn't me. Well, I see you're still sticking by that story. What is this? Those are papers. All right, Cam, you're free to go. Hello? Hi, I thought you could use a little help. How do you know my name? Not important. Do you need help or not? Yes, yes. How can you help me? Go to room 512. Yeah, but can you at least tell me your name? Just call me Mayor. Okay, but...
What is this? Your supplies. For what? You want out of this, right? Right. So here's the task at hand. A shipload of evidence against you is being held in room 401. All you have to do is get in there, download the files that will support your case, and get back here. Oh, that's all? What about you? I got you the supplies. You get what you need. I will call you when you get back. Wait. Can I use the restroom? Hurry up. This program was powered by Hackerty, feeling passion for cars by giving young people cool car experiences.